One winter's night when the cold wind blew, the engines found it hard to sleep. What we need, suggested Toby, is to listen to a story. Yes, agreed Percy, a mysterious story. But, added Duck, it must have a happy ending. Driver told me a story, said Thomas, so everyone listened. Once upon a time, began Thomas, there were three little engines who lived in their own little shed on their own little railway. Their names were Duke, Stuart, and Falcon. Duke was the oldest and was named after his grace, the Duke of Sodor. He was proud of this and loved to keep the little engines in order. Whenever they did anything that Duke thought wrong, he would say, that would never suit his grace. Other engines came and went, but Duke outlasted them all. Stuart and Falcon used to call him Grandpuff. They were fond of him, but they got very tired of hearing all about his grace. Sometimes they would tease him and chant, engines come and engines go, Grandpuff goes on forever. You impertinent scallywags, Duke would say. Whatever are you engines coming to? Never mind, Grandpuff. We're only young once. Well, you'd better mind, unless you want to end up like Smudger. Oh, Grandpuff, whatever happened? Smudger, said Duke, was a show-off. He rode roughly and often came off the rails. I warned him to be careful, but he took no notice. Listen, Dookie, he snarled. Who worries about a few spills? We do here, I said, but Smudger just laughed. <laughs> Until one day, manager said he was going to make him useful at last. Smudger stopped laughing then. Well, why? What did he do? He turned him into a generator. He's still out there behind our shed. He'll never move again. After that, Stuart and Falcon became really useful engines, and all three were happy together for many years. Then hard times came. The mines in the hills closed. And the railway was closed too. People came to buy the engines. We'll take Stuart and Falcon. No one wanted Duke. They thought him too old. Cheer up, Grandpuff, called Stuart. We'll find you a nice railway and then you can come and keep us in order. They tried to be brave and cheerful, but no one really thought their dreams would come true. Duke's driver and fireman oiled and greased him one last time. They sheeted him snugly and said goodbye. Then they had to go away and find work. Duke was alone. Oh well, he sighed, I'll go to sleep. It'll help to pass the time. Winter torrents washed soils from the hills. Trees and bushes grew all around. You wouldn't have known a shed was there, let alone a little engine asleep inside. That's not a happy ending, cried Percy. Ah, murmured Thomas. There will be one. But that'll have to wait until next time.